Let's apply now the this topic where we learn about carbon cation rearrangement to this reaction that is a solvolysis reaction. So now consider that we have the substrate and we are in ethanol in the we're making it react in ethanol and that's heat. We're heating it up. So uh, as indicated by the arrow, let's propose that we have the loss of a leaving group and that we form the following carbocation. Now notice the carbocation here is primary, which is not stable. It's not a good carbocation. However, I can propose a hydride shift to make that more stable. So, and remember that hydride shift is, is called hydride because the hydrogen is going to be moving with the electrons. So, in doing so, I'm moving that over there with the positive charges. And in doing that movement, I am now, we're going to have the three hydrogens here, right? And I'm going to have a positive charge here. So, now the carbon cation is, notice that we have one R group over here, here, and here. So it is the tertiary carbon cation. So this reaction can happen because after rearrangement, we form a tertiary carbon cation. After that, what we will have is a nucleophilic attack. So now I can have my nucleophile. Electrophile is the carbon cation, nucleophile being here. Ethanol. So you will have the, that attack, and your final product will, no, will not immediately be the final. We're going to have this. That product has a, still a formal positive charge. So let's review. So loss of leaving group is the first step to form the carbocation. Loss of leaving group. This step here is carbocation rearrangement. This step here is a nucleophilic attack. In this intermediate, we'll still need to remove that one proton over here. So the final step to get the products is going to be, let's do that, that's ethanol, that's two carbon chain. And we're going to be ethanol this time acting as a base. So here it was acting as a nucleophile. This is another capacity. And we form our final product. Will be I'm going to have to draw it smaller to make it fit in the screen. And I'm going to draw it like that. So that's my final product. But why do we do that? Again, because we will have reactions in which a carbocation is formed. So the major product depends on what is the type of carbocation. In this case, the major product is not the one formed by, say, substitution or nucleophilic attack over this carbocation, because that is a primary carbocation. It's not very stable. It's not. So the major product comes from the nucleophilic attack over a tertiary carbocation after rearrangement. So we're going to be doing more problems on this topic.